Hello beautiful people and welcome back to the Imperial Balloons channel where we strive to make you feel like royalty during all your special occasions. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make this grab and go mini balloon garland. And if you want to see how I made the hot air balloon, I uploaded that video last week and I also will link it in the description box. So for this mini garland, we are going to make five clusters. We're going to make three clusters of eight balloons and two clusters of six balloons. To make your first cluster of eight, you're going to blow up four pairs of two balloons. To make a pair, you're going to blow up two balloons at a time and then release some air while adding pressure to the top of the balloon to get a more round shape. Now that you have four pairs, you're going to start tying them into each other. So you're gonna take two pairs and then cross them and twist at least twice so that it's nice and tight in there. And then you're just gonna keep adding your other dupes or pairs, I should say, into that cluster that you are creating until you have a nice big cluster of eight balloons. And then you're going to repeat that two more times until you have three clusters of eight balloons. My primary color was pink, which is why those are clusters of eight balloons. And then my secondary color was yellow, which is why those are clusters of six balloons. These are both Simpertex colors. We have Fashion Bubblegum Pink and Pastel Matte Yellow. So here we have a cluster of eight and a cluster of six. Now to construct this garland, I'm going to use my personal favorite method, and that is the neck to neck method. You're basically just going to find the longest, stretchiest neck in both of your clusters, stretch them out as far as you can, and then tie them together. And you're going to repeat this step until all your clusters are tied in together. Now typically a grab and go garland is when you make the garland fully and then the client can come pick it up or you drop it off at the client and then they need to set it up themselves. In this case I am going to be doing the extra finishing touches at the client's house because I had to drop it off and I felt like it would be better if I added the finishing touches while I was there. So this is the base of the garland and then I'm going to start adding the finishing touches at the client's house. This camera angle is not it you guys. I literally had my tripod at the highest highest possible setting that it could go i could not get it any higher so i'm sorry about this angle you can barely see what i'm doing but i decided to just put it in the video anyways now what i'm doing here is the h method with some painter's tape and let me tell you guys i am never doing that ever again i don't know if it was the wall or the tape was just not good but i was taking pictures when i was finishing up and I kid you not, two of the three points that I had put on the wall came off. So I ended up just putting some more painter's tape and then I also had like this black industrial tape with me as well. I put some of that on there too and then I took those, you know, those strong adhesive hooks that nobody wants to use indoors because they're so strong that they will tear up your wall. I put that over the tape now for two points that went okay and then one point started coming up so I at that point I was just so over it I just started putting tape over it to make it stick to the wall as best as I could but I was left with so much anxiety I did not hear anything from the client so I'm assuming that everything went good but oh my god my anxiety was through the roof when I left and you never want to leave a site thinking that your garland is going to fall. So yeah, again, I didn't hear anything from the client, so I'm assuming that everything went well, but I need to figure out a better way to do this because this is my first time trying it and I don't like it. So if you guys have any tips, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear the methods that you guys use for indoors when you don't have a backdrop to work on, but you have to put it on a client's wall. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just here at site now, adding a little bit of finishing touches. I had pre-inflated my uh, mini clusters, of course, and then I added a little bit of filler on the yellow part because I felt like it was looking a little bit boring. I didn't have any 18 inches in this garland, so I had to kind of make kind of three sizes happen still by doing like the 11 
uh, or 9 to 11 inch and then going a little bit smaller like 7 to maybe well 6 to maybe 8 inch and then having the, the 3 inch clusters in there as well so yeah i think that's pretty much it for this video you guys let me know what you guys think about the mini garland and again if you guys have any tips on how to hang these indoors please leave it in the comment section below please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel or maybe share this video with a friend and you can find me on all social media platforms at imperialballoons.ac thank you guys again for watching and i will see you guys in the next video thank you bye